The fact that he took the teleport obviously means more map pressure. As now with no yeah. flash on Guma and no Devour on level up. three, <laughs> Tom Kent, he is so dead. I cannot overstate it. There's no vision. He's not wanting to take any risk. He needs to go for the maximum distance traveled. Mm -hmm. about some, it's uh, oh no. Quick death as oh <laughs> no. There's the slow with the ram. This time owner is here though. As Goshik's still going to continue on to this one. Not much hope from Guma. Nice knockup from Karia, but it's not nearly enough. That's now 3v2. They are going to get another kill in the bottom side. Can we make it three? As Kari has the great help, but waiting for the rent. Not quite able to land that one. And the rent is not enough As damage. An incredibly nice second follow up gank from Bioshik. Really, really heavily punishing this bot side. And as a result, Deft, the one Kalista that you don't want to get fed because he will actually do something. It's a late game, is getting a lot of money now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, here we go, the needle's coming out, waiting for that third proc here as the scissors nearly enough. And there is the third proc. He is able to land it in. You can invade, you get any objective that you want. And as a result, uh, DRX would have a much easier time completely running over. I don't know if they're going to try and contest Harold here. Owner does have vision. Going to try for the sneaky steal. Yeah, he's going to try to go for it, and he steals it just like that. Makes it look easy. And with the Gwen coming down, he will be able to come on in and just pick this one up. Even just kicks him away and then on a ward. So they know he's just not going to be around as now. In mid lane, the charm comes in after the flash, and Faker, even with Valkyrie, ends. Otherwise, maybe you just get a lead kick there and then you die as fake. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> He's getting bullied again. The Everfrost comes in into the charm. He's not going to be able to get away from this one. As that was three people now in the mid lane. And all of this aggression out of DRX. In a meta like this, they don't seem to care. As in, he comes. The charm will land onto owner, but not giving up on the kill. W for Zekka trying to live, but the Q will land after the kick. Side lane setup for DRX, it is a little rough. They are always going to be down to teleport. Uh, uh oh, owner's here again, and King and not quite having the Meganar. He is pretty close, but he is going to get it right at the end. But even with the Senna helping out here with some shielding, King and will eventually go down. Yeah, feels pretty good for them. You know, they're sticking in this one. Really, the question is that. Oh, okay. Here comes Faker. Uh, he is going to deny the back from Zeka, as that is a big one. In comes the teleport. Is it enough damage? And no, it will not be. There is an auto, I think, coming across the map here. Is it, though? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was actually close. Yeah. That is Meganar. We're going to have to deal with that, though. It is very nicely oh. timed here for Kingen. Now, owner going to step onto vision. He is Lee Sin, though. He gets into the pit. No deny on this one. The flip comes in, and owner gets it again. As now the follow up. Big one's coming in. Owner's right in the back line. The Amumuo comes out just for the Lee Sin. And the chase is on as Death gets a huge amount of lifesteal coming on in. And now Pyoshik invades on the back side of this fight. Not sure about that one, but going to give time for his team to back away. The exhaust is big, but still, Kuma will go down. As now the chase goes on to Zeus, he looks to be done too. As a couple of huge picks for DRX, they get another charm here. They could just go to Baron though. Looks like they might consider it here. All right. No, they can't. With Corky there. They're gonna do it. They're gonna have to give it up. Can't do it. I think they're gonna know. Now, let's see how it goes. The Rockets now coming in. The damage is significant. As Barrel now in the pit, he's going to be the one tanking it up. That's a big one onto your smiter. Joseph just going to run out. He's going to try to survive. Owner is nearby. He flashes in. He did not have vision. That is very early. But now he's just going to get devoured up as down goes the Amumu. It's another flip, and it's going to be the Kalista. Death gets it in the end, but at what cost? Nearly everybody is going to go down as T1 wiped the team outside of Zekka. And now let's take a look at the angles here from T1. We got Zeus on the bottom side. Owner is over the wall. Spotted and uh, actually going to hop on in. And Zekka has got a very interesting angle from the top side here. Q is down. They're trying to burst it. And here comes a gigantic package. And the Amumu going to lock everybody down. But Death is just left alone. Nice peeling. Now, though, the Nari to the wall. Will it be enough? 
Doesn't look like it. T1 have been able to burst through the front line. And Zeus is trying to kill a Kalista by himself. Not sure about that one as he will go down, but still T1 win a huge fight. Specifically the bottom lane of T1, whereas uh, the top side of the map here for T1 just uh, was able to immediately inject themselves into that back line. So here we go, Spirit Rush on in, trying to land it here onto Faker. Slow is down, the charm is gonna miss, but Faker has no one around him, and he's just gonna be taken out basically for free. Tom Kent's not here, Owner being zoned away, and down will go the Corky. Here comes the rest of the team now, finally grouped up as Piotrzyk looking for the re-engage. They're going to Wombo Combo him, but do they have the damage? Death is in the front line just trying to chop them down bit by bit, but it doesn't look to be enough. As Owner goes in, he's going to be able to get the execution on the Death, and that is exactly what T1 need to try to take down this team. King and Piotrzyk, though, will be able to get away. So tough and showcasing that this comp can win at any point if you can just get a pick. Okay, Faker, he's able to get this flank teleport in onto King, and the damage is there, though, but finally Zeus comes in. Right and now, it should be really hard food stuff also finished here for Faker. That's mm -hmm. huge. That kill certainly helping out uh -oh. with that. And now, you were just spotted. He's going right in all alone, but let's see if the Tom Kents can get over here. Carry up trying to get on top of him. He will get the Devour, but this is a broken fight right now. That's over the wall. That's a huge amount of new damage, though. Faker's just raining hell from across the wall as it is very broken up. Finally, Meganar comes on in. King and able to push a couple of them and deny a charm from Zekka. The Faker is still alive and well and still getting the damage done. And it looks like T1 should just barely have enough to push and end this game. An incredible game here from both teams, I gotta oh. say. And individual performances, owner most notably. Incredibly, incredibly crushed here. Got them a Drake, got them another Drake, got them the kick that yeah. might have ended it all beautifully done. That's a, it's a clear POG for me. These plates, and they get a lot of control very early on. Okay, Hansha, Guma in a little bit of trouble here. He will have to flash away with that Ignite as well ticking. And there it is. They find an engage. The handshake is big from Barrel. So as I was saying, obviously early game, you have to be a little careful, because uh, pre-lost chapter and even post, you don't win a lot at all. Oh, they're just going to engage. There's the root after the Viego stun. Very different. Uh, in the previous one, Yoshi got uh -oh. completed. Oh, carry it's out. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have flash. His handshake comes in, and uh, yeah, that's going to happen as the sun will come down. Baker's going to pop Ghost here with his... Again, find some momentum in the early game. And they've been very consistent down uh, for these last two games. Pioshek looking for a gank, but he doesn't know Veldas. He doesn't know. As that's going to be a huge amount of damage already. Heartbreaker is going to miss, but the Fiora comes in. And not even the ult here from Pioshek will help. Zeus incredibly fast. He's going to repost as well. And Piosik says, okay. Pushing a bit more with this second Rift Herald, but TP now coming in. They're and going. Yeah, five members of T1 will commit to this one. As in goes Baker. Let's see the knockback this time from Piosik. A huge encore onto two, and the follow up of the Dawning Shadows is massive. Able to burst a couple of them down. Depth is getting a lot of damage, but he cannot burn through Baker. He nearly kills Zeus. He was so close, but it was not enough at the end of the day. As owner's looking for more, he's not done here. King in. Oh, he's gonna land it perfectly in the shadow. As owner will pick up yet another um, kill and jump. Uh, no, 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 no. I assume this is a play we missed. Eh, they're going to get it, they're going to get it. He got the blue with Leandries. Aww. Because <laughs> <Okay, laughs> he's that, lasered. That's a great replay. Or oh, a huge overextension on the melee backline. Uh, Zeka, this is not very safe. There's a Raven there. He yeah, didn't have any vision. There was one on the blue, but that was about it. He's going to try to teleport out, and it will actually work. As never move was pretty close. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, the side laning. That's another thing. The T1 can fight and side lane. Tozu is here, but Kuma does an excellent job of just zoning him away with the root as the damage will be enough. Even Kuma able to skirt around there. 80 stacks right now, 81 for Guma. Available and deceptively low cooldown. It's five seconds. Yeah, he could try to push it in here. 
He's got ghosts as well. As here we go. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, there's one, two, three, four, as the grand challenge will be complete, and even owners here, as the needles will come in. The ignite is not going to do nearly enough. Would have really liked to see that pick as now DRX, they are going to attempt to stop the Hextech Soul from being uh, detected here, as the root will be flashed by Zekka. And Zeus is on the backside. That is very scary. Here comes Baker. The hammer down, not going to hit. And that's a double encore again as a massive Berserk comes in. But that does not matter at all. As the flash comes in from Karia, still trying to keep them at arm's length. As you see Zekka and Pyoshik. Zekka and Dev still trying to lay down that damage, but they don't have a front line at this point. Pyoshik is going to be burst down as Karia just boops him on the head with the Q. And now they don't really have a front line. So Zeus and the rest of the team will just run them down and take the Hextech Soul. That I'm hoping that T1, you don't always need to play this way, but knowing it is in your arsenal is yeah. such a big boon to this team. So scary. How do you how do you ban against this team? It's really difficult as uh, there's too much stuff to ban at this point. The exhaust comes in, the double root as well, because everybody is slowed. And that is going to be the end of this game. The Encore is going to miss, but it does not matter. Two more kills on deck here for the side of T1 as they're trying to pad their stats as every team does. But they will eventually go ahead and take down the Nexus. GG 2-0 for T1 tonight. As T1 getting... You call sometimes message me, they have to sometimes just bully me, straight up bully me for no reason. Like, I'm watching your stream, you suck. You're even worse than before, something like that. He saw, he says something very mean. I'm waiting for him to lose in LCK so I can flame him after. Wait, waiting for the chance. He won every single game, so I didn't get the chance yet. But one day I'm gonna tell him AD gap. Maybe versus SKD or Damon, I can tell that, wow, Gumayus is so good. That's how you trigger him.